why self is used. Wait. First of all, what self means in Python and its role in object-oriented programming? Let's say we have a class, vehicle, and inside it, we define a method show that prints a message. Then we create an instance of the vehicle class and call the show method. What do you think will happen when this code is executed? This code raises an error saying one argument is passed, but it takes zero argument. But we didn't pass any argument, then why? It's tricky, right? Let me explain. For this, we need to get into the head of the interpreter to see what it's thinking actually. So when this code runs, the interpreter automatically passes the current instance to the show method, which is v. And since we are not receiving it in our method definition, the interpreter raises an error. So now if I put self in the method definition, the interpreter won't get bugged. Hence, we can conclude that the self is the reference to the current instance being created or used. Now some big brains might wonder why only self is used and not anything else. Yes, great question. You can use X, Y, Z, your girlfriend's name, pet name, or family name. It doesn't matter. But this will cost you and the other devs the readability of code as it gets complex. So self is not a keyword. It's just a convention that is universally accepted among developers to keep the readability of the code intact. Here, we have a meaningful code. The vehicle class now includes a constructor method. It runs when we create a new object of the vehicle class, and the self parameter refers to the newly generated object. The vehicle class has two more parameters, model and engine. When we do self.model equals to model, we are telling Python to store the model's value in the model attribute of the current object. The same goes for the engine also. Now when we do v1.details, self refers to v1, so the details method can access v1's model and engine info. Similarly, when we create a new object v2, self now refers to v2, which is now a current object in the runtime. So that's it. I hope you get it. If you enjoyed it, then like this video and subscribe for more videos like this to get notified in the future.